what is going on guys welcome back to the channel now today we are gonna get started on dropping the fuel tank in the avi if you guys haven't seen the last video i showed you the pressure test and my truck was reading 10 psi and dropping really quick um so we're gonna diagnose it to the fuel pump and that is where we're gonna start off so without further ado let's not even get into all this talking let's just drop this tank let us go underneath the truck now to see what is it that we got to remove to get this gas tank out now there are easier ways to do this method i'm obviously going to be removing a lot of extra stuff out of my way just so i can get better clips for you guys to see how you can do it yourselves so meet me underneath we are underneath the uh avalanche and it is mighty tight under here i actually didn't even jack it up because I believe the gas tank is actually thin enough that it can slide under the truck without having to be jacked up on jack stands. All I did was really chop the two front wheels just to be extra safe. Now what I want to do is remove this uh, plate here. It looks like I can just pry it out with this uh, pry tool. And uh, this plate should be removed. And maybe I can get this plate to be removed as well. Um, it looks like it's being held on by the strap, so I guess after the straps are released, this plate can be removed. And then we have to obviously remove some lines, um, fuel lines and evap lines and whatever going to the tank and the pump. So we got a little bit of work ahead of us cut out, um, but like I said, this is going to be filmed in parts, so you guys are going to see everything. Hopefully I can get the best footage possible. Let's get started. Alright, so this little hose here that you see right here was actually hooked on to this piece of plastic. Um, you'll see it hooked on right where the hose looks like it should be right over here. So now that we got that out the way, we can disconnect this line. Um, I think we, we're going to hold off on disconnecting lines for right now. I, I guess right now we're just going to work on releasing some lines. Um, because the only way to get off the other stuff is by removing the strap. So let's um, release this one line, which is right over here. We're going to release that fitting over there in the corner. This is gonna be so difficult to show you all, so bear with me. This line was super easy to get off. All you do is just press this tab in and it pops right out. So one down. God knows how many more to go. The hose going to the fuel tank from the filler neck looks so old and busted. So I'm definitely replacing that. And um, the clamps, the, the little Phillips head to remove the clamps are super rusted off. So what I'm going to do is drop the entire filler neck with the gas tank and probably replace all of that filler neck, everything. So... Let's go back up to the gas tank, scratch that, let's go up to the fuel filler neck and remove from that side. So we're going to remove these three uh, bolts and hopefully that should drop our fuel filler neck so when we drop the entire tank, filler neck and everything is coming with it. 7mm socket, let's get these three bolts. Alrighty guys, make sure you store all your bolts in a special safe place. I love these magnetic trays. They collapse and they stick. So I always have them to separate everything and make sure that they don't go anywhere because these hold all your bolts in. Link will be in the description below. Alrighty, so we got the um, fuel filler neck loose. What we're going to do is drop down the two uh, fuel tank straps, which then in turn will drop down our gas tank, but we don't want to drop it down all the way because we still have a bunch of stuff hooked up to it. Once we drop it down to a comfortable height where we can get in, unplug everything, and pull it from underneath the vehicle, what I'm going to do is use that jack stand, well the jack, 
put a piece of wood on it so it doesn't puncture my tank and use it to slowly lower down the tank until we get it to the ground and then we can pull it out of our way and see what we're looking at now i'm going to show you the two um straps that we're going to remove and from there on y'all i i'm gonna try my best to get footage of this if not i'll leave links in the video description of other people's videos so you can get a general gist of how to do this an easier way okay here are the two straps there's one strap here and one strap a little further down on this side they're both held on by 15 millimeter bolts which are located on the front of the tank now it's hard for me to show you guys comfortably everything um but I'm going to try my best to show you all exactly how to get it. Um, like I said, it's super difficult to comfortably show you guys because I'm basically smooshed in here. Uh, so we're just going to have to do some work. And I know everything is all over the place. It's hard to see. But uh, look for the two straps. Drop those two straps down. And I'm just going to try to show you the footage the best that I can. We're just gonna hold it there to support the tank. That's it, we're not gonna jack it up anymore to puncture it. So we're now gonna work on releasing the two straps. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, so here it is. Here is our gas tank. It is finally dropped and out. Now, um, I also have the fuel pump here. We, you know, remove this in this bucket and stuff. So, basically, as you guys can see, I couldn't get the proper angles that I needed. Um, lack of certain equipment that would help me get certain angles for y'all. I gotta start getting uh, more camera equipment and stuff. And what not to help uh, get certain angles but it was super uncomfortable working underneath the truck especially lugging along my camera trying to set it up in certain ways and it's just me doing everything my dad did help me drop the um, tank uh, which was cool but I couldn't um I couldn't film those things first it also got really dark outside it just was a mess um, so basically I'm gonna walk through what happened while you know you guys watch this um, so what I did was I ended up detaching one of the uh, fuel lines, the EVAP line I think it was, and um, the two rubber lines that go from the uh, filler neck to the tank I ended up cutting because they weren't breaking loose. Everything looked dry rot anyway, so like here I, I just cut it off. I'm going to get new ones anyway. Right now I do have on order a brand new AC Delco uh, fuel filter. I do have a brand new uh, lock ring on order and I also bought a uh, vapor canister as well. Might as well change that underneath the truck while I'm there. I want to replace everything that doesn't look good. Like I told you all, um, the truck is going to go through restorations and while I'm doing this stuff here, again the tank will be dropped again in a future episode. So for those of you who didn't really get to see the insane detail on dropping this, it's fine. Because I will do it in a different episode um, during the restoration process. Once I get a lift and everything, y'all will see everything as clean as possible. So, um, the straps was the hardest part for me to get out. Reason being, these bolts here, um, for some reason, I ended up spinning it down and it came, it came out like this. And the bolt just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. Didn't want to come out anymore. Reason being, this nut kept spinning on top. 
Um, turns out I thought these were welded on the frame and they're, they're not. They're actually not welded from what I've been told. Um, they're just, they have this locking washer that's supposed to hold it in place from um, turning. Apparently mine probably broke off or it's just old or whatever so I gotta get two new ones of these. But how I got this out I used a locking pliers. Now I used um, uh, needle nose locking pliers which are somewhere over here in my pile. I had to put tools all over the place. And um, once I got a grip on the nut to lock, I was able to use my ratchet to ratchet it out. I didn't want to use the gun because I got myself in, the, in that problem in the first place using the gun. Um, so I ended up using the ratchet, which I took my time to do. Now, um, once I finally dropped the straps, I did use my um, jack and jack stands to assist me in dropping the tank. The jack was the biggest thing to uh, assist in dropping the tank. And it was super easy to do that. Um, I also used a little pry bar to hedge, help wedge the tank off of the frame that's all the way towards the front. And then the tank dropped down. Once it dropped down, I had enough clearance to mess with my um, fuel filter. Uh, the fuel uh, pump, I mean, not the filter. And um, the lines were so rotted. I mean, look, look at that. Look at that top. It's, it's terrible. So what I did was I ended up taking a cutter and uh, a hacksaw and I cut all three of the lines. Um, I still have to remove it from the uh, plastic lines, the evap lines and whatever. And once I get those off, then I'll put in a new pump and everything. So in the later episode, you guys will see me trying to get those off and whatnot. Other than that, um, we did drop the tank when it had half tank of fuel. Uh, I used a um, siphoner and I siphoned some of the gas, put it in uh, the black Corolla. Then I siphon the rest of the gas and put it in two containers. And now I have the tank in here. In the next episode, what I'm going to do is thoroughly clean this tank, try to get off all this dust and muck. Um, I did vacuum a bunch of the debris off from the top. That way, you know, it doesn't get into the fuel system and everything. So I'm going to, uh, I got to tape up some of the uh, breather tubes in there so a few, uh, water doesn't get into there. I got to tape up some tubes under here in the truck so that way I can clean the underneath of the truck better. And I want to wash out this entire thing. I want to make it look new, black. These straps, I was thinking about purchasing new straps. But when I'm looking at them, they're actually pretty solid still. So what I'm thinking about is grinding them down to bare metal and uh, repainting them again. Spraying them back to black and having them look as good as they need to be. You know, so... We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get some new ones, maybe, but they look solid still. And uh, we're just gonna take our time and take care of with this because we already got it down. Uh, that was the goal to try to get it good and clean it up as well. Get the hell away from me. Some love bugs, man. Hate those things. Um, yeah, so we are gonna take our time and clean it up. Sorry again that I didn't get to show you guys the right angles. It was just hard and difficult. But I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you do have any questions, leave it in the comment section below for me. I'll definitely get to you all for it. Um, and hopefully Jay Brown, he, shout out to him, he assisted me on this, almost this whole thing, it was pretty cool. Now, if you haven't seen the other episodes, the reason we did drop this tank to change the fuel pump was because our pressure gauge was telling us we're only getting 10 PSI, key on engine off. Um, really we we're supposed to get, um, we we're supposed to get 55 to 62, and I wasn't getting that for anything. So, we dropped it, we leave something's wrong with the, the pump. And hopefully when we put the new pump in, we don't have that issue. But uh, we'll see what goes on. We'll see what happens. Other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, leave a like. And also make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.